Hi, my name is Mark, and this is the love of my life, Aja. After retiring from the Army in 2018, my family and I moved from the States to my wife's hometown of Szczecin, Poland. She followed me around for 18 years, so now it's only fair that I do the same for her. She runs a Polish cooking food channel and blog, and I lift the heavy things. Once in a while, she shuts down the kitchen, and we explore Poland together to find as much good food as we can. Welcome to Kitchens Closed. Hello, my hungry friends. Hi. It's Friday and Kitchens Closed. Yeah, and today on Kitchens Closed, we are downtown Szczecin by Wawe Chrobrego. The, 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 the how ma- do you say that? The King's Mounds. The Mounds of the King Chrobre. Ch- Chrobre. Ch- Chrobre. And we're here because a bunch of NATO countries brought their... Uh, they're flexing their muscles and they brought a bunch of boats. Boats. Actually, they didn't bring boats. They brought ships. Ships. You well, know, yeah, yeah, obviously. They didn't like rowboat over here. No, there's a naval thing. So listen, this I tell you something now. My daddy was Navy. Even though he never says fun on a ship during Vietnam, he was in Vietnam Navy guy. Anywho. That's not the point. He always corrected me when I say, Dad, look at that big boat. He said, no, son, that's a ship. Boats are submarines. Submarines go into the water. Ah. So they only brought ships. No VGs? No VGs, but we'll, we'll go look at the boats because so I'm Army. <laughs> and there's a bunch of them. So yeah. see, I think you can get uh, into one of them. Can you? I think. Whoa, we'll get on a ship boat. Ship boat. And maybe there's food. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Crobrego, we have done a video on this before when we were talking about the unauthorized or unofficial way to get to citizenship in Poland. I don't know. It's in the thing. Go back and look at the stuff. But Valle Crobrego, back in the day, was a fortress, uh, you know, like a military uh, fortification to control this part of the Oder River. And now, so that was like in the 17th century? Then they knocked it flat, built all these wonderful things now, like the Urząd Wojewódzki, which is like the federal offices of federalness, and there's a museum very, and all kinds accurate. of stuff. Yeah, well, but I did a video on it, so they know it at all. So go watch that video too. But now, at the bottom of Valle Chrobrego is where the butts are, because that's where the river Oder is. So that's where we're going. This is Ujant Wojewódzki, this big building. This is the, the federal building that does immigration and all kinds of other stuff. They have a special door for us immigrants. Here, I'll show you the door. This is the entrance for immigrants like myself coming to Poland. This is the welcoming, the, they have the big heads screaming at you, go away, arr, 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 arr. <laughs> and like the embattlements and the, the, the door you can't break down. It's, this is a this perfect. Is, yeah, this is the perfect analogy. Perfect. Of, welcome to Poland. Exactly. Big iron and oak door and a yeah. big. Arr, 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 arr. No obstacles <laughs> ahead of you. <laughs> We're just kidding. We love Poland. And that's the main entrance. And that's the main entrance for all the poles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> top of Valcrobrego and right behind us is the museum, the National Museum. <laughs> and then the Seaman School. The School de la Nordecolova. School where you learn how to be a, a, s- sailor. a ship guy. A sailor guy. Commercial. Commercial. And then Odra River right behind us. We have ships from, uh, as mentioned, from few uh, NATO countries. And Norway is one of them. Yeah, because Norway is going to be soon a NATO country. Or and EU. They're, or was it? They're already NATO. They're, they're NATO. EU. They're going to be EU. And then there's with the Sweden and the Finland. But now we have, what? who's here today? So we have uh, uh, 
Lotva, which is Latvia, mm -hmm. Estonia, mm -hmm. Norway, yeah. um, Poland, Bel and Belgium. Belgium, they brought waffles. Yeah, they brought Belgian waffles. <laughs> and the Polish ship Ksawery Czernicki, Ooh. which is open for viewing. And there's a long line, but we're going to go wait in it. See the line? Right there, behind us. See the line back there, but we're, because we love you guys, <laughs> we'll go wait in the line. We'll go and then we'll show it from, uh, see if they serve anything in the chow hall, mess hall. Mess hall, dining facility? Yeah. What is it? What is it? Galley. Galley. The galley on a ship, yeah, right, Navy guys? Old, but we will. Okay, let's try. Yeah, okay. Let's go. I've always wondered how, you know, like, I was gone a lot, right? Back in the day. Back in the day. But these, but these Navy guys and sailors, you know, like, even civilian sailor guys, how do they... That's a lot of time away from home, stuck on a boat in the middle of the, like in the ocean and stuff. Do you know they don't have any Taco Bells in the ocean? Yeah, that would be the hardest part. That's what I'm saying. So if you were Navy, or if you're a sailor, how do you cope with that kind of stuff, guys? And gals? How I mean, you, guys is in... Cope? Well, first of all, I wasn't on a boat. I know. Uh, well, I had a lot of good dudes around me and dudettes and uh, we were busy most of the time and we just got on with it I guess but I wasn't stuck on one of these tin cans eh? Yeah that would be hard. Goodness gracious. Um, I don't think I can do it. No I don't think I can do it either. So this first ship right behind us is called Virsaitis. Virsait? Virsaitis. Virsaitis. Can you guess what country it belongs to? Greece. No, there's no Greek ships here. <laughs> Virsaitis. Norway. So good, almost good answer. Almost, but wrong. All but wrong. What is it? Uh, so this is a Norwegian made ship. A made ship? Norwegian made. It oh, was oh, made oh, in Nor Norway. Oh, produced, yeah. But it serves in uh, Latvia. Oh! So if you look, if you tilt the camera up just a tiny bit, you can Boop. see the flags. So there's a uh, white and red Polish flag, then behind it is red flag, um, blue NATO flag, and then I think behind it is the Lithuanian flag. Very cool. Not Lithuanian, Latvian. Latvian. <laughs> <laughs> it's not confused countries. No, that's they're not. They're all separated. They are. And it's really geographically separated as yeah, well. Yeah. Okay, let's go look at it. The LVNS Versaitis started life as the HNOMS Vale. She was a Royal Norwegian Navy mine layer. She was built by Mielim and Carlson in Bergen in 1978 and named after Odin's son, Vale, from Norse mythology. Vail was given to the Latvian Navy in 2003, and she was renamed Versaitis. That, in translation from Latvian, means chieftain. Her sister ship, the HNOMS Vidar, was sold to Lithuania in 2006. She's a big old girl. She displaces 1,673 long tons of water. Her length is 64 meters long, or 213 feet. Her propulsion, or what pushes her around, are two marine diesel engines with two shafts, for 4,000 horsepower. Get you some of that. Now the guy behind us is Estonian. That guy, he's Estonian. It's, it's called uh, ENS Sakala, and it's a, it's a destroyer ship Whoa. that used to Whoa. belong to the Royal Navy. Oh yeah, like the British Royal Navy? Yep. Cool. And it says that they can, they can, uh, Ride, drive, <laughs> float, how do you say that? They can move. be underway. They can move at 15 kilometers per hour. Well, that's pretty good for a big old boat. Yep, and there's a 30 millimeter machine gun. Yeah. And 7.6 milliliter. 7.62? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another uh, mine destroyer. Whoa. And you can tell these guys are 
our military. Yeah. We were just walking by the Latvian one, and there's a dude, a Navy guy. Marine. Fully, Marine, sorry. <laughs> fully armed with, like, a long weapon. What is, the, what is that weapon? Well, I don't know, because Estonians, Latvians all use different kind of stuff. It was probably like an H&K type variant of a... It's, an, it's their version of what we use in the M4 or the M16 back in the day. So, yeah, but it's a long gun. And they're, they're, he's like guarding the entrance. Yes. Uh, fully armed. What it looks like he's fully armed. Yeah, but okay. So here's here's a little something for you guys who don't know too much about things. The military a lot of times does not trust their soldiers. So yeah. if you see a soldier uh, guarding something in a civilian environment and he has a long weapon on him, what is the secret to give it? It's out? not secret. This is not secret. That weapon is probably what we call in green, amber, and probably not red status. Green status means there's no bullets in it at all. It's all for show. Amber status means that there's bullets in the magazine, or the clip, as a lot of civilians like to call it, but nothing in the chamber to make you go pew pew, because we don't want to accidentally shoot somebody or not post to. Well, we That's, don't know for sure. We don't know for sure, but if I had to guess, after 23 years... If, if you want to test it, do it on your own. <laughs> don't do, test it. Do it on your own. Don't test you know. it. Don't test it. Don't do this at home. What do you guys think? Comment below. Yeah. Ready? Uh, let's go see the next one. Over. Next boat. <laughs> so that's the Akala, Sakala behind us. And then, and then, and then. And that's, wait, that's the, that's Akalabat. This and is the Akalabat. The double part. Oh, that's called um, parallel porting. Yeah. <laughs> no you idea. Don't, I don't know what that one is. <laughs> It's the it's the boat that's gray. It's yeah, that one. It's one. Probably not as as pretty and doesn't have as many friends. Oh, yeah, so yeah. they put it over there. And this it's is the more cool. popular boat. I mean, look at the ass on this thing. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now this one. That's the one we can get on. That's the <laughs> Polish and the most magnificent one. Of course it is. And it's the biggest and the shiniest. And the shiniest. And it has many uh, weapons on it. All right, let's go see the weapons. Mm -hmm. ORP Kontradmirał Ksawery Czernicki. It is a mine countermeasure force command vessel for the Polish Navy. She was named after Rear Admiral. In Polish, it's Kontradmirał Ksawery Czernicki, a Polish engineer, military commander, and one of the highest ranking officers in the Polish Navy. And in case you think of doing anything stupid on the boat, look at this magnificent creature. Wow! That guy's, look at the beard, the power on him. It's like we found Bluto. The ship was built in the northern shipyards in Gdańsk, and it is the biggest to have been built for the Polish Navy in the Polish shipyard. The only ship of her class, she was designed as a logistical support vessel to transport troops and supplies for the NATO forces worldwide and to cooperate with the air transport and Polish vessels in distant seas. She can carry up to 140 troops with vehicles, food and equipment, and can conduct offensive landing operations using landing ships, helicopters, and armored personnel carriers, as well as evacuating of troops and civilians. She's a multitasker. snacks. <laughs> this is official snack department. Yeah, this is when you yeah. get hungry you can open it up and eat some pierogi. This is a Polish boat. Well, yeah. When you get tired of machine gunning, you come and get your pierogi. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, right? I don't know this one in particular, but I'm guessing it's about a 7.62 by 5.4 anti-everything general purpose machine gun. General, Heavy barreled. General killing. Machine. General killing, yes. Uh, I could be completely wrong about any of this. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below, guys. What is this thing? And look at the view. And this thing here is an, I absolutely don't know, but it's an anti-aircraft for sure, deterrent system, 
for shooting down the annoying airplanes that try to kill you and your shipmates. How long can a boat like this stay on water? Without like supplies and stuff? You think? Oh, months. Months? Months. Without refueling, without... They, 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 they bring stores, food stores, and they can stay a long time. You guys, comment below, tell me if I'm wrong, because I don't think I am. And then you got the Polish, the White Eagle up there. The ship can transport containers, freshwater, food, well, that's where we put the pirogi, and other supplies, and repair other vessels at open seas. Czernicki took part in the Afghan and Iraqi wars. During the Operation Enduring Freedom, she joined the United States 5th Fleet in the Indian Ocean. And just in case you don't want to be on the boat no more, you come uh, and call get a your, you call a helicopter and they'll come and pick you up. That's handy pandy. Not me. <laughs> yeah. Call the helicopter. I'm done on the goddamn boat. Get me off. <laughs> Okay, so that's enough for the boats. Let's go find some food. <laughs> so what do you think of the boats? This is very cool. This was more fun than I thought. I don't Any know why this maybe this was so fun. It's just like it was. I've been on a bunch of boats before. Yeah, but not like a um, Polish boat. And not like a real destroyer. Yeah, or whatever this thing is. Right. <laughs> very cool. Come to Stretchy, check out bots. Yeah, and you can come and see Blue Dog. Guy's magnificent. <laughs> if there was ever an argument for beards in the military, that man is the idea of why you should have beards in the military. Nobody would mess with you. I mean, my goodness. Just saying. Feeling super nautical now. It's like that guy is a attraction of a. <laughs> he is! So, He's an attraction himself! Everyone's People, taking pictures of him! Yeah, and well, we keep talking about him too, so like, <laughs> amazing! I hope that guy has a wonderful life. I wish you know? him uh, Zdrowia. Yes, we wish him Zdrowia. Now, we're going to go find food, and while we do so, maybe we should cue the jaunty sea music! Oh, jaunty sea music! Jaunty sea music! And cue! down Bulvare and decided to have lunch with our daughter and her boyfriend. So, since as you know on our channel we don't have our daughter on there and we don't have permission from his family to put him on, the, on YouTube, all you're going to see is plates of food and menus. We enjoyed our time with our family and had a wonderful afternoon. That was fun. Yeah. What yeah, was your what? favorite part? Bluto. <laughs> Maybe you should have come alone today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he could. I mean, I like. I just like take the man out for a beer and see what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, but that was really cool. It was neat to see, you know, that many nations vessels here at one point and all stuff. playing as friends. Yes, all playing as friends, which is what we should strive to do in this world. And we had some good food, and we had a good time with our kid and her boyfriend. <laughs> So, and that's our episode, friends. Thanks for tagging along once again. We hope that you put Stretchin on your trip calendar and come visit us soon. Right here at the Griffin site. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, until then, go to www.polishkitchen.com. Check out recipes from this lady, uh, inspired by her whole surrounding area here of Poland. Uh, and book, get, books out. Books out. Books go, out. go to yep. the bookstore at polishkitchen.com. Top menu bookstore. That's right. Buy yourself a copy. Buy your child a copy so That's they it. know where they come from. That's